It's that time again. It's time for another virtual model train show on Coffee and Trains. Welcome everybody to another edition of Coffee and Trains. Before we begin, I'm drinking Grounds and Hounds Rescue Roast and as always, Black with Two Sugars. So today we have another virtual model train show and it is a big one because you guys are awesome and have sent me in a lot more stuff to show off and we've got a lot of cool model railroads to show. So let's go ahead and hop into the show. First one I got to show is actually one I've shown before and that is James Brazel who built this module. This is part of the Walther's National Model Build Off competition and this was his entry for it and he actually placed second in this category so congratulations James. Really excited for you here. This is a great looking module. I love this photo of it outside so that it looks even more realistic than it already did so good job James. Next up we have Thomas Banks and he has this railroad that he has been building. We actually showed some stuff of his test setup with his Arduinos and everything that he had already set up. And this is another progress photo and he's building it on a two foot by four foot layout and in scale. So you know how I feel about two foot by four foot in scale layouts. And this just shows you again that you don't need a ton of space to build a good model railroad. And he is in the process of building another two foot by four foot in scale layout. So. There you go. Thanks, Thomas, for sending that in. Our next one comes from Christopher Pretzman, and this is actually a two foot by three foot in scale layout, and it's a little micro layout that's got a ton of detail packed into it, and I absolutely love this. Check out some of these photos. They are absolutely astounding. I love when someone does a small layout like this, and they really put a lot of detail into it. It just makes it look really, really, really good. So thank you, Chris, for sending these in. I absolutely love these photos. Next up, we have Chris from Switzerland. He's actually moving back to New Zealand and he's gonna have to dismantle and start over again once he moves there. But his layout right here is absolutely astounding. The one that he had built in Switzerland. It's got a TGV train, which I absolutely love on there. And it's got a lot of cool detail. And this is just a good looking solid layout. And I really, really like what he has done here. So check out some of these photos that he sent me. And sad that this layout's gonna have to go, but still want to admire your work, Chris. So great job. So thank you so much for sending that in. Next up, we got someone that you guys probably know, a lot of you know, and if you don't, I'll link his channel right up here. He's a big YouTuber in model railroading, and that is Vinny, aka Cousin Vinny, aka BNSF6951, and he sent me a couple photos of his layout. I love Vinny's layout, especially with how much scratch building that he does. Um, it is a BNSF P-Vine sub, and he's got um, a few photos here. He's got a picture of a locomotive cruising through Wickenburg on his layout, and then he's also got a picture going through Little Hell Canyon, and then one going through uh, Hell Canyon, which he lives in Arizona, so I would have to assume that these are places that are real. I, I don't know that much about um, Arizona other than the Grand Canyon and Phoenix and Flagstaff, but... Um, these are some really, really great photos of his layout. And he's got a really, really awesome multi-room layout. So thanks, Vinny. Always enjoy talking to you and seeing your stuff. So if you haven't already, check his channel out. Link in the description below. Next up, we have David J. Fajardo. And he has sent me in a couple photos of what looks like two different layouts, actually. But they're both in-scale layouts, and they just look like a ton of fun to run. They got that classic look. Uh, one's got this crossover figure eight. And the other one has this really detailed mountain area that he has been working on and it looks really, really great. And I love seeing layouts like this. So thank you, David, for sending both of these in. If you got two of them, that's great. If these are all part of the same layout, that's great too. So thank you so much for sending those in. Last one I want to share is actually something a little bit different. I want to share that what this uh, guy Rob sent to me um, that he's working on with his soon to be five year old son. And the reason I want to share these is because He's working with his son on building a new layout and they wanted to get started right away. And so they decided to try some cardstock building. And this is a great budget option. If you want to really save some money and you want to still have buildings on your layout, you can always find and print out cardstock buildings and make them. And these are just like really, really cool to look at. There's a lot of different things here. And this is just him sharing his passion and his hobby with his son. 
And it, it, it's just something that I absolutely love about the hobby being a fairly new dad. My kids are about to turn two. Um, my son already loves dealing choo-choo. So when you share the hobby with your family, nothing bad can happen. It's always a great thing to do. So thank you, Rob, for sending those in. And I can't wait to see more of your layout from the one that you and your son are working on. All right, let's talk about some of the coffees that you guys are drinking. Uh, Brian Page, Model Trains, is drinking Black Rifle Coffee Company to AK Espresso Black. Anthony Shipman is drinking Decaf PG Tips Tea, a little something different, with two sweeteners and milk. Mason Dixon RR says that he is drinking Dunkin' Donuts Dark Roast with classic caramel and a splash of half and half. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for telling me the coffees that you're drinking, and thank you so much for sending me in photos of your layouts. If you want your layout to be considered for a virtual model railroad show, there's an email in the description below that you can send photos to, and I do these about once a month once I have the content to do them. So thank you guys so much. I want to say a big thank you to all of my patrons. They are listed right here. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. A lot of cool stuff that goes on over there, a lot of behind the scenes, and I also ask them quite a lot of questions and opinions uh, regarding the channel and my layout and all sorts of different things so thank you guys so so much for watching until next time i'm jimmy from the diy and digital stay safe be kind drink some coffee and happy railroading <music>